You are now watching Zach Lesage, the best place to learn about competitive Pokemon TCG. Let's get it! Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Zach Lesage here. Word up. Today we are going to be covering over an updated version of ADP Zation. So in this updated version, we've added in Zapdos, or shall I say Galarian Zapdos V, uh, because it's very good against Pokemon that are weak to fighting. Etern VMAX is very huge in our format and this deck's always struggled against it, the Galarian Zapdos V really does help against that matchup. And of course, it does give you outs in other matchups if your opponent has V Pokemon down, that you could attack for 170 plus Altered Creations, additional 30 to do 200 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for a single energy. And you have ways to power it up too with Ultimate Ray. I mean, it seems like it's a really good fit into this deck. I've also added in a Marshadow due to Path to the Peak going around. So some of the early struggles that I've had with the new and updated list that I covered about a week, week, week and a half ago, are just fixed now at this point. So hopefully this list is a little bit better. Check out the list in the description below if you want to follow along while you're playing this video. And you can check out some of my sponsor stuff going on there, pick up some Zach Lesage merch, maybe pick up a playmat from your playmat. Lots of things to help me out as a content creator. If that's not your vibe, you can give this video a like subscribe to the channel we just passed 4600 subscribers we are less than 400 peeps away from us meeting my channel goal of 5,000 subscribers in a year let's get it let's get it we'll give you another one right there uh feel free to comment below all of those things really do help boost the youtube algorithm to help me grow as a content creator and introduce this to new pokemon fans all right let's jump into some uh into the deck list and see exactly what's going on so jumping into this deck list, you can see that it's a pretty normal ADP Zacian deck list. You got the whole ADP using its Altered Creation GX for a Metal and a Water Energy to do the boosted effect of doing an additional 30 and drawing an extra prize card for the entirety of the game every single time you knock out your opponent's active Pokemon. So once you get all powered up with Altered Creation, you're either using Ultimate Ray or attacking with something naturally. You could power things up by just attaching energies from your hands or you could use Intrepid Sword, rip energies into play, or you can use Metal Saucer to get energies back from your discard pile. So you could attack with things like Zacian V, Brave Blade now doing 230 into 260. You could attack with Mawile, Wily Bite 10 plus 30 with the additional 30. There's a lot of cool things going on with this deck where you could attack things. It really adds in the Galarian Zapdos V, where you could use Thunderous Kick. The Fighting Instinct reduces the damage cost dramatically so you can attack for a less amount. I mean, if you're doing 170 for a single energy and drawing extra prize cards, that's enough for you to knock out a Crobat V due to weakness. That's enough for you to knock out a Dene GX due to weakness. That's enough for you to knock out a Mawile GX. But with the boosted H, or the boosted damage of Thunderous Kick doing 200 now, you can knock out Eldegoss V. You can knock out an Eternatus VMAX, whether or not they have a Big Charm or not, because 340 plus 30 on the Big Charm on an Eternatus VMAX is 370. That doesn't get by 200. So Galarian Zapdos V could be a single drop away. Um, and there's just the one fighting and the one Galarian Zapdos V. Now, one of the most common questions here are how do you bring Pokemon down or how do you make Fighting Instinct kick in? Well, your opponent can naturally play into it. There's also other ways where you could use Mawile GX. So you could use Captivating Wing to bring them down from your opponent's hands, or you can use Echoing Horn to bring them back from your opponent's discard pile. All of these are great ways to bring two prize card Pokemon into play so you can knock them out, easy pickings. Or you could use Fit Fighting Instinct to reduce your damage cost for this Pokemon. So you have a lot of built-in ways into this deck. Um, and the other question that people have been asking me is, what do you do with your one fighting energy? Similar to the three copies of water energy that we got chilling into this deck. There's three down there, by the way. Uh, I just realized I scrolled down for the first time. Y you can sometimes attach them to a Pokemon early. Um, maybe you could power up or attach it to like a Zacian while you're waiting, energy switch to it later. You could always grab it with an energy spinner. You can always grab it with ultimate ray. So there's ways for you to grab the energy out of the deck or kind of balance it a little bit. If it hits the discard pile, it's gone for the game and you have to realize that. That's the only way that you could ever attack with thunderous kick. I played versions of this deck that play Aurora Energy, um, multiple fighting energies. This is basically the best and most efficient way to play the deck. Um, the other big thing here is there's Chaotic Swells to get around Path to the Peak or anything else that you might follow. But really, it's just for Path to the Peak. I've also added a Marshadow um, due to Path to the Peak, so you could shut out your opponent's path by searching it with a Quick Ball. 
or putting it on your bench so if you can't search chaotic swell out mid game which you have no way to search you just have to naturally draw into it you naturally draw into it with things like the Dene gx and crowbat v you can't play those under path to the peak so that's why i've added mar shadow into this deck just to make it a smidgen better against shadow rider calyrex v max so overall this deck's kind of hot um i think that's that's all i really want to explain about the deck let's jump into some gameplay if you got any questions let me know in the comments below okay so we're gonna call the coin flip here we won the coin flip so we do want to go first so we're gonna go ahead and do that see if we get set up with started with an adp i mean that's honestly not that bad um i like that we have adp we can discard a metal energy attach an energy to it um have an energy for that metal saucer we have a den hex we can grab a zation out there's a lot of cool things that i think we can do with this hands so i'm pretty hyped about those let's see what they flip over um and hopefully it's nothing like spooky here uh, they flipped over Shadow Rider Calyrex V. So there's really nothing that we can do here um, if our opponent gets a decent setup. Let's go for, I mean, actually, it just makes me wonder if we want to be using Dedenne GX this turn or not. Um, I think we probably do. So let's go quick ball away the metal energy. I got, I'm a man with a plan. So we have the Zacian V. This is a matchup that we're going to play out like normally. Um, Rusted Sword might actually come into play um with one of our zation v's so we're gonna go like that we're gonna grab a zation double checking our prize cards um things like marsh shadow are going to be important things like chaotic swell are also going to be important uh i believe we prize both of our chaotic spells against this matchup so if they are playing the path to the peak version with trevnor could be a little bit spooky that's all cool let's go ahead here and metal saucer onto this pokemon let's attach a metal energy here and i'm gonna pitch my hand away because there's a chance that they could just play path next turn and stop us completely i'm gonna put marsh shadow down so we always have options to go against their path to the peak if they do play it there's also no reason for me to play anything else we've already attached for our turn we want to keep our hand size large um, because our opponent could potentially go gengar mimic you trevnor kind of fun plays stopping us in the process so let's go ahead here and use intrepid sword would have been really nice to get an extra energy there if we had the opportunity but nothing going on crazy this pokemon's also weak to psychic so do keep that in mind and we'll see what our opponent has going on here we want to get around path to the peak if they play path to the peak if they do not play path to the peak we're probably in an okay spot and until we find something that says they're playing trev noir or anything like that there's a chaotic spell so this looks like they might just be playing the galarian zapdos version of this deck and i like that they're going into the gang queue they're gonna get the double shadow rider calyrax v so their strategy is just so that they can pause us for a turn maybe use poltergeist maybe do a lot of things and we could just get set up after that or not get set up after that um there's really nothing that i can do with this turn we have five in our hand there's no reason for us to play this down or not play this down i'm just going to go ahead and pass because we are not getting knocked out at this moment. So if I use Intrepid Sword, I get myself the potential of getting an extra trainer card in my hand, a high potential, so that they could use Poltergeist on us. Right now they're doing Poltergeist for 250, which might be difficult for us to deal with. And this is very much a real matchup where I probably want to be using Zapdos as well, so I'm going to put that down. Zapdos is probably going to be knocking out our Dedenne GX. So they're going to be using Poltergeist on our active, in my opinion, hoping to get a knockout. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're looking for a 66% conversion of our or, of our trainers. Um, and their setup is incredibly strong this game. So we're likely not going to be getting off an Altered Creation GX, or, or an Ultimate Ray, I should say. We'll be able to get off our Altered Creation GX. See what our top deck is? Was a trainer, so we would have lost uh, there. Let's go ahead here and put this down. I don't see any reason why we should not be getting like set up. Let's put a Zapdos V. Um, I can always power that up the next turn. Here, I think it's worthwhile for us to just go. I don't know if I want to be using Great Catcher, to be honest, onto the Dedenne GX. Maybe that would stop their energy from just working or something like that. This might be a good turn to be using Mawile. They might have other Pokemon that they could put down. So let's go ahead and thin a little bit. So 
So yeah, next turn we might just be trying to go for a Galarian Zapdos V on this Pokemon. So let's go Mawile. There's nothing that's blocking our abilities. Let's see what they have in their hand. Show me the goods. Um, and I'm going to use my Marshadow instead of their instead of them because we're not going to put a stadium card in play so let's go like this um, i'm going to keep the gray catcher in our hands let's just go boss's orders bring up this pokemon i think that that sounds pretty fair i've already attached for my turn they can hit for 150 i'm cool if they hit for 150 they're definitely knocking out this pokemon no matter what they decide to do and there's no reason that they would ever go poltergeist instead of using max geist so I don't care about the trainer cards in my hands. I'm more or less just worried about the Altered Creation GX. Now the one issue that I have with them going double the Dene GX down and me putting the Marshadow down is that they're not going to put down another Shadow Rider Calyrax V. So I have to find a way to build up an extra energy onto this Pokemon, which might make it quite difficult for me to succeed, see success in this game. Um, and that's going to be the honest truth about this game is how am I going to get around that kind of requirements? And this is going to be where they're going to get all set up to do those Okos now. Uh, they have one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, our goal is really to knock out Dedenne GX and then knock out Dedenne GX. So they have two in play. Um, at this rate, I think it's much better for me to be sending up my Zapdos V. Oh, weird. That's um actually a mistake from our opponents. So that allows us to jump right back into the game because we now have a Pokemon that can attack this turn. Um, and they don't get any benefit from drawing extra prize cards. So we take those. Let's go for Energy Spinner. When it comes to Energy Spinner, it's always better to grab a Water Energy. Um, just because we can naturally power this up. You, there's the Colorless. We only use Waters for that Pokemon. Um, so let's go Water Energy here. Let's power that up. Let's go like this. Put that down so we can have something to attack. Let's go Great Catcher. Great Catcher going to discard these two because we only need one to close at the game. Let's bring up this Pokemon because that's three prize cards. And now I can go Research, putting ourselves in a position where we can basically win this game. Um, so that's really nice. Um, we also have access to Double Metal Saucers, which I think is super cool. So I'm going to go Metal Saucer, powering up this pokemon because we get attached three there i'm also going to go rusted sword there in case they do put out a trevnoir or something like that um so i mean our plan is just go cherish ball on to den hex that sounds cool we also don't need energy spinner as far as i'm concerned but i'm going to go ahead and grab a fighting energy anyways and we do have the the den hex let's go ahead and just ultimate ray take our three prize cards and see where it takes us so one, two, three, and we're gonna power up the three there. Actually, maybe I'll go ahead and put another one. Actually, it doesn't matter about the Zapdos. If our opponent attacks into our Zacian, we just have the another attacker on board. So we're set up here no matter what happens. One prize card, that's cool, that's fine. That's a good prize card. Chaotic Swell's not bad either if our opponent plays a Path to the Peak down. I wouldn't be surprised if they played a Marnie, a Reset Stamp on us. Right now we don't have access to boss. We still have two boss in our deck. Um, Eldegoss would certainly be nice in this situation. Uh, we have used Great Catcher. So, and they just put down a V Pokemon. So one, two, three V Pokemon. And that can certainly allow us to win the game. Um, if they try to go for their Astral Barrage play, they can't necessarily choose two of our Pokemon. Okay. This is fine. If we just get Boss or Eldegoss, we win the game. So our opponent handed us this game. If they knocked out different Pokemon in different orders, we would have just won the game. Um, and I mean, I think we would have won the game with any of the combination of these cards. So that's cool too. Um, let's just send this up. There's nothing that's stopping our ability, so let's go like this, search for a boss, hit our opponent with the well played, bring this up, and then we're going to hit this for 180. So there's the ultimate ray, and that's game. So our opponent should have definitely knocked out the ADP when they had the chance because we were able to power up our Pokemon. And this shows how you could power things up too, so you can always like 
power up a metal energy, then power up a fighting energy. So you can always get things powered up. Like this isn't a this is a valid attack with fighting instinct in play at any given time. So we totally take that dub for sure. Okay, um, yeah, let's call Tails. We lost the coin flip. Hopefully our opponent lets us go first. It'd be nice if we can get off the altered creation. Um, kind of like in a step-by-step. -step. I like to call this like a TV dinner deck. Um, nothing crazy going on with the start. Now, we want to choose a Pokemon that we are likely going to use in the matchup that we can start with. And I think that Pokemon here is going to be Marshadow because we could always put it away. Um, I don't know if I want to play Galar and Zapdos down in this matchup. Maybe our opponent's going to flip over an E-turn and I'm going to be like, that would have been the best start. But we don't know. So there's a Galar and Zapdos on their side. They're probably playing Shadow Rider. Let's just go for a Cherish Ball here. I'm going to grab an ADP. Um, before I go forward with ADP, I just want to see if there's things like metal energies, water energies. Like we only have one of each. Um, so we did prize a couple water energies. We did prize a metal energy. So we did prize three energies there. Um, we do have chaotic spells and all that good stuff. So let's just get set up with this as much as possible. Let's go like this. Actually, before we do that, I am going to play Mawile. <coughs> Our opponent probably didn't want to start with the Den HGX since they didn't start with anything like that. There's a good chance that they might just have one in their hands. And I'm right. There's Quick Ball, Quick Ball, Fire, Fire. So Mawile just ripping two really good Pokemon in play. There's three V Pokemon. Now I'm going to put this in play. And you can see how things just like gradually change when you're playing this. Like it went from me, I'm like, oh, okay, that was like an okay card to play. Now it's a really good card to play. Chaotic Spell here is not, like, terrible. Um, I wish I could bring this Marshadow out of the active. Right now, we're just kind of in a in an awkward spot. We also have two Pokemon down, so our opponent can't attack us with the Galarian Zapdos V. Um, I, I, I wish we had a way out of the active. We're, like, one card away from it. So I'm going to go ahead here and pass and hope that our opponent just, like, plays a Marnie um, or something. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what else they would play here. Because they have Quick Ball, Quick Ball, Fire, Fire. Um, it's actually an interesting concept. Maybe it's just some kind of uh, box. That's kind of what I figured it would be. Of different things that could work. I mean, if we got any kind of like top deck here or some supporter or anything, um, we'd be in a much better spot. I think we're in a really good spot here if we top deck something. Yeah, it looks like it's just some kind of attacking Pokemon. There's a Heatran GX. Okay. Now they're discarding a fire. Are they going to grab a Dedenne? Do they have access to Dedenne? Okay, so they do have Dedenne. These are a lot of Pokemon that we could choose to knock out at a later time. So that's cool too. They have a way out of the active. We'll have to discover a little bit more about this deck if we have an opportunity to do so. Uh, because it looks pretty cool. A lot of different attackers. Um, we're basically looking for prize cards here, so that's one thing that ADP does very well, is whether or not we get set up and win this game, you can always draw into a poor hand like we have. Um, we're looking at two prize card Pokemon for us to knock out after we use Altered Creation GX because they're now worth three prize cards. So there's their Marshadow, probably going to shut off the Chaotic Swell. Oh, they're not really doing much either. Okay, so we drew a Metal Energy, that's fine. Um... They're not an Ultra Beast, but we could do 20 damage to that Pokemon. It might be worthwhile for us to do so. So I'm going to go ahead here and... I don't see any reason why not to. Let's hit for 20 damage. Or actually, maybe I just power up. I, I should also worry about... I don't know much about my opponent's deck. Let's go like this. And let's go for Red Knuckles for 20 damage. Um, 20 damage due to weakness. It does set up nicely for an ultimate ray after the Altered Creation GX attack. Um, really not too much else that I want to deal with there. I could have retreated the Metal Energy attached, moved it to ADP. Again, really nothing that I'm like super stoked about here in terms of things. Yeah, it looks like they're just playing some kind of welder box with dark type Pokemon and fighting type Pokemon. Uh, because both Galarian Zapdos V and Galarian Moltres V are very good against the formats. Now, is their Heatran GX going to be absolutely busted? 
Probably not. Once we get off our Altered Creation GX, we could do a lot more damage than our opponent probably expects. Yeah, Mewtwo, Jirachi's really weird, um, kind of, like, weird, cool. I should say definitely cool. Um, I like decks like this. Although their bench is now completely filled. Um, and that's something that we want to see when it comes to plays like Mawile GX. Because we can attack with Mawile GX. Um, as long as we get off Altered Creation, I'm feeling pretty good. And if our opponent's hidden for 170, I'm also fine here. So they can knock out our ADP. I don't know if they're going to necessarily knock out everything else that we want to see. There's a great catcher. Again, I'm not going to worry about this stuff. I'm going to go for energy spinner for a fighting energy. Or no, 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 no. Water energy, water energy, water energy. I'm literally speaking out loud. I'm almost like misplaying in 4K. So there's this. And I need to go for altered creation GX. This is, the, this is our first big play because that's going to turn our prize cards into being worth more. Um, I might as well take away this with resetting hole so I have access to the metal saucer. So I can metal saucer onto the Mawile. So let's go for metal saucer onto Mawile and let's go altered creation GX. So for us, we're hitting one, two, three, four, five, uh, five Pokemon in play, 150, 160, 190 with Wily Bite. We can get the knockout on this Pokemon or on that Pokemon. Um, both of them are pretty strong choices for us right now. So we'll have to see whatever happens, happens. They could do 170, there's no resistance. So I think right now it's probably worthwhile for us to attack with the Mawile GX. I don't see any issues with that. Our opponent also has one, two, three. I do I care about knocking out the Heatran GX? It probably makes more sense to knock out the Heatran GX at this point. Because we could also just knock them out with a Galarian Zapdos V. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Grey Catcher play. Let's go discard energy switch, discard echoing horn. Let's bring up the Heatran GX. So at least our opponent has the three V Pokemon in place. So we're always got the fighting instinct, keeping our options open. Let's attach there. Let's go research. We have the fighting energy in our hands. Are we going to be able to win the game off that alone? Uh, that's to be determined. I mean, I think it's quite possible. I'm going to put a Zacian V down just in case. I think that sounds pretty good. Our opponent already has enough energies for fighting instinct. Let's go ahead here and go Wily Bites for the knockout 190. Um, we have used only one Metal Saucer, so we could also just power up another Pokemon. So... Using some misfit attackers here is certainly going to be nice. Um, and these aren't bad cards for us to be grabbing off of our prize cards. So we're going to see if our opponent's just going to go ahead, attack us for 170, or are they going to play something like a reset stamp, or are they going to play a Marnie? Um, that's really where we're at right now because we have win with Fighting Instinct. So 170 plus 30 is 200. We knock out any of their Pokemon in play for 200. They have one, two, three in play. Um, they're not playing a Marnie, so that's first step. Hopefully they just retreat and attack us, and then we get attack with the Galarian Zapdos V. And this is one of the situations where we've played, we use our Altered Creation GX, had nothing, got didn't get set up, and we were still able to attack, and we're in a winning position in this game. So even though we completely drew nothing, we are... Our opponent attack, like, we just need them to not play a reset stamp and we win the game. There's a pal pad. Cool. And I mean, if they don't have a reset stamp now, they probably don't have any Crobats, Dedenes, Eldegoss. Like, all of their support Pokemon are down and the Mawile allowed us to do that. So, as much as this is a really awkward game, it's really showing where this deck can deal with its, its extremes. I don't know why they'd attack with float up that is kind of bizarre i mean it does give them an out versus what we have available in play they have one two three four uh pokemon in play um or sorry three pokemon on their bench let's go metal saucer here I mean, 
right now it doesn't matter because they just gave us another turn. Um, I'm probably just going to go ahead here and we lost our echoing horn, so that's cool. Um, there's no immediate easy way to make this happen um, unless we use energy switch. I'm not necessarily going to go for that. I'm just going to attach here. I think this sounds fine. I'm going to go ahead here and see what we have going on for Cherish Ball. Let's just double check what's going on in this deck. Um, we do have an Energy Switch. We do have a Metal Saucer. So if we just draw into those, we do win the game as well. Um, there's really not a lot that's going in this hands. So I'm okay just like pitching this hands. Um, so let's go ADP. Let's try to get ourselves with an alternative win condition at least at this point. Um, energy Spinner. There's nothing else in there. Let's go Quick Ball. Discard this away. Let's grab this. Let's go quick ball that away. Grab this. And we'll see if we get like Metal Saucer, Metal Saucer, we just win the game. That could work. Or if we got Energy Switch, Metal Saucer, Energy... Like there's there's ways of making things happen. So let's see what Dedenne GX brings down for us. It's certainly not going to hurt us at this point. Okay, so we didn't really lose anything from this. Um, we could use Crobat V. I don't really care about Crobat V too much. Um, we're also in just an energy switch away from winning the game. So let's go Air Balloon goes here. We haven't retreated yet. Let's go Escape Rope. And we're just trying to thin out of our deck. Again, a single energy switch wins the game. Um, Let's send up Zapdos, actually, and since we still can retreat, we're going to go switch right back into the Mawile. There's nothing else that we can grab out of our deck with Quick Ball. Um, I, I mean, we could grab Dedenne GX. We want to have them in our deck. Let's go Research here. So, since our opponent has two in play, you can see that we actually just have the game with either Zapdos or the Galarian as, with Zapdos or the Zacian. So let's go ahead here, switch, switch, energy switch from here to here. And we're just gonna take the game from our opponents. But there's a lot of cool things that you can do with ADP. So sometimes you just gotta talk yourself through the plays and see where this deck can actually become more difficult to play. More options always means a deck's gonna have a higher skill cap. And that's what we got going on for this video. I mean, ADP doing ADP things, cheesing out wins, Sometimes it all it takes is your opponent making a little bit of a stumble of a misplay and that can crumble all into ADP just taking the dubs. Also check out this sick whale lord. It's super fun. I always use this like an arm cushion when I'm recording uh, or when I'm just doing other things in my office. Fun times. Pick up a whale lord. Uh, that being said, if you like this video, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel. We just passed 4,600. 4,600. That's 4,600 people. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate it. I'll catch up with all y'all later. Peace out. I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who's become a channel member. It's one of those things where I appreciate every single person who watches my videos, and I mean, that's really where it counts, but for the channel members, they've gone out of their way to financially support me, and I truly appreciate that gesture. It's one of those things when I started channel memberships up on my channel, and I, I just didn't know if anyone was ever going to do it, so I truly appreciate everyone taking the plunge, taking a leap of trust, and investing in me as a content creator truly makes a difference for me each and every month. If you haven't already thought about becoming a channel member, you might want to contribute to the channel, and I do put everything back into the channel to make it the best possible place to watch for Pokemon TCG content. Again, I truly appreciate everyone. Thank you so much. Cheers. I truly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means the world to me. And my goal with this channel is to spread my love of the game and knowledge with our entire Pokemon TCG community. If you haven't already, Help Signal Boost this video to other Pokemon TCG fans by liking it, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Hopefully we reach our goals really soon. Check out this recommended video, and have yourself a great day. Thanks.